What a beautiful week you're putting together. Main draw debut here in Cincinnati, but um, seems since he's treating you very well. Yeah. Yeah, look, uh, strange trip getting here, that's for sure. Um, I actually didn't think we'd, we'd make it. One, because I thought uh, Andre and I would win our quarters in Toronto in the doubles. Uh, lost a super tie break there. But then, yeah, to, to get here and with almost no sleep and a bunch of stress to win five matches in a row is a pretty good feeling. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about the trip. Cause yeah. I heard a little something about Uber rides, Border Patrol, yeah. airport naps. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure rest. which to ask you about. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't make the last flight out. Um, oh. Uh, I didn't particularly want to drive seven hours myself that day, same day, and then play the next day. My coach has never driven in here, so I didn't want that to be his first trip. Um, and we were told by um, one of the people in uh, Toronto, the, the player's desk, he works for Uber, he said, no, no worries at the Windsor-Detroit border, you'll be able to get an Uber. It's, it's fine, everyone carries their passport, but uh, no one had their passport. And the taxi services were busy, so oh. we're kind of just on the side of the road there in Windsor at about 11 o'clock at night. Come on. Finally managed to snag down a taxi to take us across, but hassled at the border. No one would then take us to Cincy and then just booked the flight for 8.30 in the morning, stayed at an airport hotel and got about four and a half hours sleep. And then, yeah, found my way here, had a nap, have a nap before I went on, no practice, and, and managed to win three. Uh, yeah. That's astounding yeah. when you talk about you know how difficult it is to prepare even when you're sleeping well yeah. and so forth. But um, you've collected some beautiful wins here. I mean, today against Stan, who's been who's been playing great tennis, you you didn't seem uh, hesitant about the moment at all. Moving into the quarterfinals here and the 1000, did you did you feel any pressure today? No, I had a pretty clear kind of game plan. Not so much focusing on him, but focusing on what I think has been working well for me on these courts and. Uh, uh, because of all the doubles I play and all the work I've done getting to the net, I felt like these conditions are great for my serve volley plays. Right. So I felt, you know, with Stan not looking like hit, hit over a bunch of returns. I mean, I've, I've watched so much, so much of Stan over sure. my tennis career, just sure. you know, and um, so that that helped me figure out that he kind of looks to just block returns deep all the time. So it's perfect for a serve volleyer. Yeah. Um, and then if I could hold easy enough, I could accumulate pressure on return and, yeah, fingers crossed I could do something, and, and that's how it worked out. Well, you, you touched on the doubles there, and, and you're, of course, a, a Grand Slam champ, won Wimbledon in, in 2022 with, uh, with Matt Ebden. Um, talk about how much the doubles has, has influenced your game, and are you, are you just as passionate about both? Because it's a big tradition in Australia. Definitely just as passionate about both, but I, I find it hard to just commit to doubles. It makes me too hungry to miss out on, on singles. Yeah. Um, so that's why I love playing doubles in tandem with my singles, but I don't like just playing doubles. Because I feel yeah. like I miss out on those, you know, the, the singles wins are addictive. You know, yeah. that, that feeling when you win a big singles match or a tournament's addictive and it's not quite the same with doubles. Yeah. Um, and being so young, I, I wanted to just really focus on singles and I felt like I'd, I'd never been ready to give it a, a proper crack. But yeah. this year, I, end of last year, I decided like I'm ready, I, I want to try this. Yeah. And, and it's paid off so far, which I'm lucky, yeah. It's paid off beautifully. You're already 70 in the rankings. You're only going to keep keep moving up after this. Um, Max, your your record coming into this event is 3-10 and 10 on the main tour, but you've piled up a ton of wins on the Challenger Tour. What's what's all coming together really well right now? Look, look to be honest, I, I thought I'd be about here earlier. I ended up, I was, I was on such a great run, and then, I, and then I broke my ankle in the final of Busan Challenger uh, against Vukic yeah. um, just before French Open. Um, and yeah, the, these last three months have been a struggle for me um, between being able to play properly because, yeah. yeah, look, maybe I can move 60% or 70%, but that feeling before a match of not knowing how it's going to turn out is it's difficult to take it so seriously. Yeah. And finally, a couple of weeks ago, I, I kind of woke up one morning. I was like, hold on, like it's, it's feeling a lot better today. And then since then, I've been able to really lock in in my matches. And I feel like I've picked up exactly where I left off from before I did it. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a three-month period getting going missing a little bit, but I was just itching to play tour events, you know, just getting finally getting there. But now I feel comfortable. Well, you, you've certainly found all your momentum. I know you got some, you have some doubles as well. So yeah. uh, best of luck. You're still Thank in you. both. Thank you. Cheers, guys.